overall a good performance? Yeah, really good sort of three days for us. Um, disappointing day today. You know, I didn't think we were going to get so much rain, but it's just been pretty constant sort of through the day. And um, obviously, we probably needed sort of a decent stint at them to try and bowl them out. Um, it was a pretty good wicket. Um, but it obviously wasn't meant to be. But as you say, we're sort of very proud of the guys, like the effort over the three days to sort of put ourselves in such a dominant position. I think, yeah, it was credit to all the boys. Standout performances yourself, obviously with a century. George Bartlett, right back in form with uh, 88. And Casey Aldridge, bowling really, really well in, in the Yorkshire innings. Yeah, he was fantastic. And I mean, he was brilliant in the last game against Surrey as well. Um, and Casey's like such a talented young player, you know, not only with the ball but with the bat and in the field as well. He's, he's going to be a big player for us and obviously he's showing what he's capable of with the ball as well, which is great. Um, obviously just complements sort of the, the rest of our attack really well. Um, so really exciting, obviously great to see GB in the runs. Um, he's been working so hard and yeah, it's just delighted for him. Um, I thought he played that situation perfectly yesterday and obviously yeah, put us in with a good shout today. Um, but as I say, like through throughout the game, I think everyone's sort of contributed and you know the effort uh, from the whole bowling attack really I thought was huge on a very good wicket to sort of bowl them out for um, whatever it was 250 or something I thought you know it was a massive effort um, but yeah it's just a shame that we couldn't get a crack at them today. Announcement today that Somerset have signed Andy Umid, Scotsman who's played for Warwickshire what can you tell us about him? Yeah I'm, that was a few years ago I played against him when he was playing for Warwickshire um, He's obviously been playing in our twos and you know had really good things and um, he's put some good scores and we're obviously looking to strengthen um, and obviously our sort of uh, our batting you know we've not batted so well in the recent past and yeah we're sort of looking to strengthen from that point of view and um, see opening is a pretty specialist position and I think you know that's um, a really good signing for us and yeah looking forward to having him as part of the squad full time. Looking forward to next week, big game at Chelmsford against Essex. What's the team news first of all? I mean it's sort of ever changing at the moment you know we've got obviously guys dropping in and out and you know we're sort of waiting to see the availability of Craig. Um, is there a chance he might be released? Yeah from what I've heard I think there's a chance that he'll be available but again sort of um, not not exactly sure what Craig's availability is, but yeah, I think the last couple of weeks, you know, the way we've sort of performed and, and fought throughout the sort of seven days of cricket, I think has been really pleasing. I think we're getting back to the sort of um, the cricket that we want to play, you know, we're showing a little bit more fight and character and, and working really hard for our results. Of course, you know, it's, it's not resulted in a couple of wins, but I think, you know, we try and speak about the process a little bit and, you know, putting ourselves in strong positions and um, that's what's most pleasing about this week. As I say, it's just disappointing we didn't have a go at the win. What's the situation with Josh Davey and Peter Sid? Yeah, so Sid's has um, come on really well. He's obviously a bit stiff after finals day, but he's, um, I think he's having a bit of a bowl now. And JD's going to be out for slightly longer. I think he's got a bit of a hammy tear. Um, and look, it's been a pretty demanding sort of few weeks, if we're honest. Um, but as I say, the, the beauty of it is that we've been playing pretty good cricket, and I think you know we're a lot happier as a group, sort of how we're playing and. Um, yeah, we're trying to focus on that and obviously next week's a big game for us against Essex, very good side and um, obviously they're, they're pretty good at home. So look, it's a great challenge, but as I say, how we're playing at the moment and you know, we've got guys scoring runs and as a bowling unit, sort of, um, it's really disciplined, so I think we're in a pretty good place. 